Hello and welcome to this Natrix tutorial on Cloud Fogger. Uh, Cloud Fogger is basically an encryption tool uh, which you can use to encrypt uh, folders, files, and so on. Uh, you can also use it, uh, or you can also sync it with, uh, for instance, Dropbox or SkyDrive or Box.net and a couple of others. Uh, so that your files are encrypted before they even leave your hard drive and go into the cloud. Um, it's free, so basically to get started you just have to go over to cloudfogger.com and you click on the big download um, icon here. Once it's downloaded you just want to double click the setup file and it's a very simple setup, just uh, next through it basically. Um, read through the license agreement. If you accept it, then uh, click accept. Next, next, install, and you're done. Uh, it creates a desktop icon, uh, and you can either run straight after installation or you can uh, uh, run it afterwards. Click on finish, and it will prompt you to create an account. Basically here you can create um, a free account with CloudFogger. Uh, this is if you want to sync your uh, encrypted files with uh, Dropbox or whichever cloud um, storage you're using. Or you can just uh, create a local account, uh, which is basically you can just encrypt files on your uh, computer. Obviously you can then email these files or put them on a flash drive or whatever and take them with you but it uh, doesn't have the option to sync with your um, cloud uh, storage. And if you already have an account, uh, you can sign into uh, your account uh, with the bottom one. So basically if you uh, send your files to another computer, you can download it and use your same account to uh, uh, unprint them at the other end, or decrypt them, sorry. We're just going to create a local account, uh, so we just click on the middle one, uh, click next, and all you have to do then is type in a password. Uh, I'll just type in 123123 123, uh, because it's a tutorial. Obviously you want to have a very secure password, so uh, capital letters, small letters, numbers, symbols, and so on, and have it all mixed up. Then uh, you can choose to remember the password, however if you are encrypting files uh, it means you don't want other people to see them, uh, uh, they, they're probably private files and if you remember your password it's kind of pointless to have them encrypted anyway, you might as well just have them uh, on your hard drive. So uh, I don't recommend remembering your password. Click next and you're basically done. If you want to uh, go to their website you can click on here or if you want to read the PDF you can as well. Uh, but basically what's in the PDF I'm going to be showing you now anyway. So just click finished. And that's basically it. You now have a uh, icon down here which uh, you can choose your preferences and so on. So if you have an account uh, you can change uh, some account settings here, change your password. Uh, or you can upgrade, if you've only got the local one, you can upgrade to the actual uh, CloudFogger account. And then you can choose whether you want it to start at uh, login, or if you don't. I generally don't like to have uh, uh, programs running at startup when I start my computer, so I'll untick that. You can also clear the cache, or the cache, uh, this will remove your uh, user details. And you can open up log files. We'll just uh, cancel that, doesn't really matter anyway because it's a tutorial, and you can sign out and so on. I'll show you what we do with that. So basically to en encrypt uh, a file or folder, um, we'll create a couple of random files in here. Basically all you have to do is right click it, and you go down to Cloud Fogger, and then you click Fog Folder Auto Encrypt. Click on that, click on yes, and then you're done. Now, as, as long as you stay logged in, the files are not going to be encrypted, so anybody can uh, view the files. Another thing to remember is that the file names do not get encrypted, so they don't get changed. So you will be able to see, uh, even though they're encrypted, you'll have new bitmap image .bmp. Uh, But it won't be BMP, it will be changed to the Cloud Fogger uh, extension. 
If I want to now encrypt these files, all I have to do is go to the icon in the bottom, I click on sign out, and now these files are all encrypted. So you can see it has a cloud fog or the CFOG uh, file extension. And then if you want to open them up, you can double click and then you just type in uh, your password. OK that, and they are no longer encrypted and you're logged in again. So that's basically it. As you can see, an extremely easy tool to use. Um, although my personal favorite will still be TrueCrypt, uh, maybe for people who are not very computer savvy, this is an excellent alternative to TrueCrypt. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. It's as simple as that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you out. And as always, take care.